Hello, time for some more tooth tips with Dr. Johnny Fisher. So, I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about things are changing uh, as far as your habits at home, maybe because uh, you're staying home a bit more, and uh, what to do about some of those habits and maybe um, curtailing some of those habits a little bit differently. Um, as we stay home more, we might be more inclined to do a little bit more snacking, maybe a little bit more drinking a soda. Um, we have those snacks and treats and things around us more. Maybe we're working out less. Um, anyway, there's some lifestyle changes that um, a lot of us are feeling. And so my tip for today is to consider how to maybe get back on track as far as um, habits that you might have had slipping as far as um, your risk of cavities. Things that are going to increase your risk of cavities the most are things like how frequently or how often are you snacking or sipping on things that have sugar in it, natural sugar um, or um, any, any other kinds of added sugars are not going to be uh, not going to be good for uh, for the cavity situation. Um, artificial sugars don't really cause much issues, um, so that's something to consider. Um, anything that's got carbonation in it, um, that's going to be a bit more acidic. So, um, for example, um, the issue with um, drinking things that are carbonated or have sugar in them um, or snacking on things that have um, any kind of carbohydrates in them, um, especially things that are processed, the biggest issue is the frequency. If you're snacking on some, um, some Cheez-Its or uh, fruit snacks or things like that throughout the day, that's more problematic on your teeth than if you're having them at specific snack times. So every time we put something in our mouth, let's say I put one fruit snack in my mouth, the bacteria are going to chew on that, they're going to create acid, and that's going to put my mouth into an acidic environment for about 20 minutes. So if I eat one fruit snack about every 20 minutes, that's constantly putting my teeth in an acidic environment, and that's bad. That's going to increase risk of cavities. Um, it's dissolving away the enamel on your teeth, and it lets the bacteria move into those places. So if you're going to snack, that's fine, but try to keep it in more defined times. Meal time in the morning, maybe snack time in the mid-morning, um, then your, your midday meal, um, afternoon snack, evening meal. Um, if you're having snacks or eating those kinds of things, try to keep them concise. After you have a snack, um, rinse, with, uh, rinse with water, chew with some sugar-free gum, or uh, you can hit the toothbrush if you, if you have that available. So the amount, um, you know, the amount is, is problematic for the waistline um, and blood sugar levels and that kind of thing, but uh, the frequency is more of the issue as far as dental problems go. Um, so eating or drinking, drinking things throughout the day, um, that's gonna be problematic as far as cavities. As far as the other things you can do, uh, make sure that when you're brushing, it, um, brushing twice a day, at nighttime flossing before you brush. That's gonna be the most helpful because it clears out the bacterial biofilms that have been building up throughout the day in between the teeth. And then when you brush after that, it allows the fluoride to penetrate in between the teeth better, which helps to prevent those flossing cavities, which are the in-between cavities that we, that we see with people that have some um, increased risk of cavities. So um, hopefully those things are, are helpful for you. Uh, try to limit the frequency of snacking. That's more problematic than the amount of snacking as far as um, cavity risk goes. And then brushing and flossing twice a day, or brushing twice a day and flossing once a day. Um, specifically, if you can get that flossing done at nighttime before you brush, uh, allowing the fluoride penetration in between the teeth, that's gonna give you the best um, decrease of cavity risk um, at this time when we're not able to do pre as much preventative uh, uh, kinds of therapies. So uh, uh, hopefully that'll keep you uh, as cavity free as possible and uh, keep you safe until uh, we see you next time. So wish you well, um, take care and uh, God bless.